Hi, it's Ian from RPD Alarms. This is the third video on the Lysys 2. Um, the next video will be about faults on the alarm and is the alarm ready to set. Uh, now on this session I'm going to show you how you know that the alarm is ready to set or if you know there is uh, an issue with the alarm. So as you can see on my alarm at the moment I have a hammer symbol. So that hammer symbol means that there is a tamper on the alarm system. Now, dependent on your keypad, again, if you've got one of the other style keypads, the Elegant, it's a triangle. Um, so just keep an eye out for the different icons on their, on their keypads. Um, as you can also see, the, the tick icon, which is just above, as you can see there, it's actually not highlighted at the minute, it's not lit up. So if I went to try and set my alarm now, just by pressing the full padlock, it will come up with a triple beep and as you can see it says NR for not ready. Now when I press the down arrow as it's asking me to do, it will tell me why. So as you can see NR, press the down, it says zone 3 landing is in Tampa. Now yours might say patio door is open, something like that. Now if it's a patio door and it's open, it will say the word open at the top. It's just a case of go to the patio door. If it is closed, just open the door. Close the door, watch for the little red LED at the top or the bottom, depending on how you're looking at it, and make sure that does come on. When you get back to the keypad, it should change from the word open to the word close without the E on the end. If you see that, you can just press the back button, back to the normal screen, and then the next question is, your tick icon on. If your tick icon is on and it's flashing, that just means that your front door or entry route is in the open state. So basically somebody stood in front of a detector, that is part of the entry route, or your front door is wide open. Uh, now as you can see, the hammer symbol is still showing up on mine. So if you've got a hammer symbol or a tamper, you need to go and find that detector and close the lid. Now if you close the lid and it's a movement sensor, just stand there for a couple of seconds waving at it and see if you get a red LED come on. That should then transmit a clear message. Um, if it is a shock sensor, it's just a case of push the lid down from the top, click it down and tap on the unit so you get a green LED. Try and do it a couple of times using um, the back end of a spoon, something like that, something metal, so it's uh, quite a hard contact. If it's a front door, same principle again, close the lid and just open and close the door, make sure you get a red LED a couple of times. If it's a combined shock and contact, on a patio door, for example, it's a combination of the two. So tap it a couple of times, get the green LED, and open and close the door. Make sure you get the red LED. Come back to the keypad as your hammer symbol or triangle symbol cleared. If it is, and it's okay, then great. If not, try it again or contact your installer. I will post a video later on uh, just showing how to um, clear these faults on these individual detectors. Um, but for now, uh, I will just clear this uh, hammer symbol, just so you can see what happens. So, as you can see, uh, I've closed the lid on the movement detector, and it's uh, transmitted the clear message upon triggering the detector. As you can see, the hammer symbol is now clear, and the tick icon is on. So I can now start to set the system. There you go. Thanks for watching.